In this video, we're going to go over the tagging system inside the new Hunt Control app. First, you'll need to open your app and go to the image gallery. If you opened your app and you didn't end up on the image gallery, you'll just need to click this My Images tab here at the bottom. Up at the top left of the page, you should see the Tags button. Now, if your image gallery is in select mode, you may see select all or deselect all in this location. Just go ahead and hit deselect all and you should see tags reappear there. Press tags to go into the tags menu and you can see all the tags that have ever been created in this account. You can hit this plus button to create a new tag or you can edit the tags that have already been created. You're going to see some other information about the tags here. You're going to see the category that that tag is under. So for instance, this J tag is considered an antler deer tag. So if we apply that tag to any image, it's automatically going to make sure that that image has been moved into the antler deer category. This is very helpful. A lot of times the deer will appear in groups or they may appear behind an object and the detector could not find the antlers, but you know that is J the deer. So you can apply this tag. It's going to go ahead and move that image over to the antler deer category for you. Alternatively, you could have a non-antler deer tag, you could have a hog tag, an other tag, any of our categories are available for tags so that it'll automatically move it to the correct category when you apply the tag. And of course, anytime you move an animal to a category, it flags that image in our system so that we know to retrain off of that image and make sure our model continues to get better. You can click this edit button to edit the tag and you have a lot of options here. So you could actually change the tag. If we want to change Jay's name, we could change it to anything we want. We could change the category that that tag is applied to, or we could clear the tag from the images. So if we, for some reason, decided we did not want that tag applied to those images anymore, we could clear that tag out of the system. Or if Jay was harvested, and as a matter of fact, Jay was harvested this past year, we could delete all the tagged images from this option here. This will remove all those images from the system. They won't appear in the activity charts or in the image galleries anymore. Now, the way you use the tags is you can filter all of the other systems in Hunt Control by the tags. So let me show you some examples. So from the image menu, if we want to see only pictures of J, we could click here, we could go to tags, and we can select whatever tag we want to see. So instead of selecting J, we're going to select, I don't know, let's select too tall and apply the filters and we'll see images only of too tall the deer. Now it's showing us these orange dots because we've never loaded these images in the app before. So it's telling us these are new images and you can see the tag too tall is applied to all of these images here. If we went into our activity chart, we could also filter our activity chart by certain tags. So I've actually already got this one filtered by J. You can see J's only one checked. We'll hit apply filters and you'll see only J's information here in the activity chart system. So this is the wind direction that J likes to come out at. So J was very particular about southeast and south southeast wind directions. You can see wind speeds, you can see temperature, all these factors that went into determining when J was likely to show up at a location. So that's a bit how you use the tags is how you can edit the tags and manipulate them, move them around. It really makes it very easy to customize the system. We will be having future videos come out on all the other features inside the new Hunt Control app, some more videos about the activity charts and the forecasting system. So be on the lookout for those. Thank you so much for using our product and taking the time to learn more about it. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support staff.